Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mo Jax, and this might well be the weirdest episode of Beat Source Tech ever because I'm not actually here. Ooh. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm here now filming this intro, but when this video is released, I'm on vacation. And the thing is, just a couple of days ago, Serato hit me up and they said, "Yeah, look, we've got version 3.2 coming. It's going into public beta." And this is the day it's going into public beta. And that's the day that I'm coming back from vacation. They didn't have a build for me yet at the time of making this, right? They don't have one. So what to do? Because to be honest, I've been told what's in this version. And I haven't been this excited about a new version of Serato for a minute. Like there's some stuff in here I've been after for a long, long time. So what to do? Well, I reached out to my colleague Vlats in Los Angeles. He very kindly agreed to do the demo, the walkthrough of the new stuff in this new version of Serato for you. He is the guy who shoots the NAMM show videos with me. He does loads of stuff with DJ City Latino and DJ City in LA, like top, top guy, right? He knows his stuff. So he's gonna do that walkthrough. And then I'm going to be watching this video on the day of release probably on airport Wi-Fi somewhere, because as I say, I've been told what's in this version, I haven't seen it in action, and I haven't played with it myself. So I'm incredibly excited to see what is about to follow in this episode of Beat Source Tech. Flats, take it away. Thank you, Mojax. I'm very happy to share that if you're a Serato user, you're in for a treat because Serato is gearing up to unleash a big update that's set to make your DJ mixes more fun. But before we dive into the details, let's address a few important points for those of you who want to try out the beta version available on June 3rd, 2024. There are a few features that aren't quite accessible in the beta yet. For example, Serato out effects like echo out and clean echo out may not apply any effect signal when the depth knob is set below 50%. Don't worry. This will be sorted out upon the official release in July. Also, if you're using a Pioneer Rev 5 controller, effects may not be applied to channels 3 and 4. Again, this issue will be resolved with the official release. And lastly, some of you might encounter issues with renamed user effects presets loading correctly. But fear not, this will also be fixed in the official release. Now, the exciting stuff. On July 29, 2024, Serato will be dropping a massive update packed with a suite of high-quality custom build effect upgrades for Serato DJ Pro 3.2.0 and Serato DJ Lite 3.2.0. Here's what you can expect from the new and improved Serato DJ. First off, we can experience a powerful suite of new effects, meticulously crafted by Serato's product and development teams. And for the first time ever, you'll have the ability to create, save, and manage your own custom effects presets tailored to your unique style. Serato has also revamped the effects panel with enhanced navigation and new view modes, standard, slim, and advanced mode. Now we have access to new channel effects, assignable to the filter knob to use on controllers that don't come with sound coloring effects already like dub, echo, reverb, and noise, which I found helpful if you're using controllers or mixes without built-in hardware effects. There's a new favorite effects banks feature, allowing you to save up to four custom effects banks for quick access during your sets. Plus, with native Apple Silicon support, you'll enjoy optimized performance on Apple M1, M2, and M3 computers. Serato is introducing the new and improved effects like Infinity Tone, Spiral Echo, Stretched, Vast Reverb, and Infinity Flanger, along with the return of the classic rollout from Scratch Live. So, if you are as hyped as we are about this update, be sure to check out the public beta. Until next time. So there you go, a first look at the new 3.2.0 version of Serato's DJ software. Thanks so much to Vlats for putting this together. This episode would not have happened without him and I'm incredibly grateful. Make sure you show him some love in the comments. Before we go, just a reminder, at the time of this video's release, this version of the software is a public beta. That means it's probably not quite ready for prime time and you shouldn't go trusting it at important gigs. You can have multiple versions of the software installed on your computer at the same time. So keep a released version on there too, use that for performing and play around with the beta at home or in the studio, then give your feedback to Serato in the beta area of their forum. 
Let us know in the comments which of the new features has got you most excited and tell us what other new stuff you'd love to see in future versions too. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.